Uh, so, hello to everybody. Uh, we have uh, Stuart who is with us live, so he gets the uh, opportunity to to ask questions if he wants to. And uh, for everyone else who's watching it after the fact, uh, welcome. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, Drayson Design Reviews, which is a product that I have uh, uh, selling and, and product that I'm involved in and it's designed to make it nice and easy for you to get um, testimonials and not only get testimonials but be able to use them as well uh, there's, there's um, no point having loads of testimonials if you've got no easy way to display them and make them work for you and the other thing that this does is it allows you to get verified testimonials so it allows you to get testimonials on Facebook and on Google and on uh, other services as well so without taking up any further time let me first of all go into the screen share there we go you should now be able to see my my uh, my screen and my mouse so this is the Drayson Design Reviews um, page that you would go to if you were to purchase it and uh, we shall come back to this in a moment because we're going to look at the the way it all works um, this is a really good example of, of the reviews being shown on the website so this is showing uh, one from a gentleman called Howard Robbins and there's our own Jelly Kelly Kelly Robinson um, and I believe if I refresh this page that these are set as random so what should happen is that when you refresh the page uh, it should then show you uh, different reviews so if I scroll back down again okay so I've actually set this one to show specific reviews um, or there's only a couple for this product which is another op another reason why it might be showing the same ones um, but you can uh, have a whole bank of testimonials and just show uh, the ones that you want on this page so ones that are only about Drayson Design Reviews so both of these uh, this one here in, in particular uh, Kelly has Drayson Design Reviews uh, so that's why that one is showing there so let's go into how you would see it if you were a visitor to the website and you were leaving a review for someone so what you would do um, as a uh, an owner of a website is you would you would send people to a web address now the one I've set up is drasondesign.com slash feedback uh, which if you spell it right will work much better so slash feedback this will then change from drasondesign.com slash feedback to a URL that is specific to um, the form that I want to send so I have more than one form this is the first one so what it's asking me here is Drayson Design, how would you rate us? Choose a star rating below to reflect your experience. Uh, and you can choose between one and five stars. Now let's just for the uh, sake of argument say that somebody was giving me a three star review. As soon as they click on that three stars, it takes them through to this page here that says, sorry to hear that you're not satisfied. I'm just guessing that three stars out of five means they're not entirely happy. Please provide us with your feedback and we'll do our best to improve. So then it's asking for a name, an email address and feedback. And you can have uh, up to 240 characters in here. So there's quite a lot of space for feedback. And then click send. There is the option at the bottom, which is hidden away a little bit, to review on Facebook and Google, which are the two websites that I've set up for this platform. Um, however, if, as you can see above the fold, so before you scroll, uh, you don't actually see those. You actually have to scroll to see them. So it's sort of protecting you from getting bad reviews. If I go back to the previous page and I give myself a four or a five star rating, I feel like I deserve a five, so I'm going to click five star rating. So now it knows and I can set all this in the uh, control panel. Now it knows that it's a four or a five. It's basically saying to me, that's great, thank you very much. Please leave us a review on Facebook and on Google. Now I can't actually do that because this is my website and this will take me through to the review page, which I don't have access to because I cannot leave a review for myself. 
However, if you would like to try this out, then please feel free to go to draysondesign.com slash feedback and you can leave a review on Facebook and Google. Uh, please, you know, bear in mind this is my live website, so please don't write anything that's, uh, you know, not going to be um, uh, relevant, basically. Uh, so that's how it would work for a customer's point of view. Now there are different types of forms that we can set up. You can set up one, this is an external form because it's sending people to an external website. You can have an internal form where it basically just asks all the questions like you know, uh, your name, your email address, uh, your testimonial uh, and that sort of thing and then that would come to you directly. Uh, or you can uh, now ask for a video testimonial and that will then ask to uh, request permission to use your camera whether that's on a desktop or on a mobile device and it will allow you to or allow your customers to then just leave a video review. You get access to all of these and can approve them or deny them for your website before they go live. So let's see how they look on your website and then once we've looked at how they they look on your website we'll go into the control panel and have a look and see what sort of controls you have for this so here we go this is back to my website this is my home page and uh, if we go down here you'll see we've got two customer reviews here one from a gentleman called Steve Ashby Howe and one from Marie Sarney so again if I refresh I'm pretty sure this is th these are both Google reviews as you can see uh, but I'm pretty sure that these are both uh, randomized reviews from my bank. So here we go, here we are exactly the same place. We've now got two different reviews. One is from a gentleman called James Kennedy and another from John James Conway. And I've chosen to display two reviews in two columns because of the, the space that I have on a website, uh, on a desktop. If you were to view this in uh, a mobile, it would be uh, one column with the reviews one under the other. So it's responsive, which basically means it just looks good on all devices. Um, and I think that's all, yeah, as far as the reviews go, that's all there is on my home page. Um, there is one last thing that you can do, which is called a wall, um, uh, what is it called? It is called a wall of love. There we go. Uh, that was a sneak peek at the control panel there. And the wall of love is um, where I've put my testimonials. Uh, so if I click on the testimonials, the wall of love will show. And this, uh, as far as from here, from here downwards, so this is part of my website, but from here downwards, this is all being controlled from Drayson Design Reviews. So what it's doing is it's showing you all of the reviews that I have and if there's more than a page's worth, which there isn't on this occasion, um, it will continue to load them like uh, a Facebook feed would. Uh, right, we've just got a couple more people, I will admit. There we go, just admitting them to the, uh, uh, to the webinar. Uh, there we go. Uh, welcome to Karen, welcome to Paul. Uh, we, we have already started, um, but uh, it is being recorded, so you'll be able to... Uh, go back and watch the bits you've missed. Uh, we're just talking about the wall of love which is basically a, uh, a page that I've uh, created on my website which I've called testimonials and it's displaying um, all of my reviews uh, in one sort of nice format here. I've set it for three columns. If we were to have this on a mobile as I said earlier it would be responsive and you'd see it just on one column. And the nice thing about this is um, you can see here that this is a Facebook review and if I click on that it will actually take me straight to Facebook and it will show me the actual review left by the actual person so that uh, basically you can verify that those reviews were left by a real person uh, and it's not something that you've just made up. Uh, if we go back here, Facebook, Facebook, Google, I've only set up Google and Facebook, they're the two big ones for me, but there are other integrations you can use as well. So that is that. Um, these actually, I should mention, these are all in a random order. So we've got Peter Calver, Cheryl Holly, Marie Sarney, and uh, oh, friendly face there, there's Paul Longhurst who's with us on the call. Hello Paul. Uh, he's on the second uh, second row, first column. So if I was to refresh this page, 
Uh, Paul is actually a user of Drayson Design Reviews. He's got it on all his websites and uh, I think he, he really likes it. So now you'll see I've... Uh, yeah, I'm using to say yes, I really do. <laughs> Thank you, Paul. That's very kind of you. Um, so yes, uh, I've refreshed the page and now you'll see it's showing different reviews. So it's got uh, Rob Gaffney, who is a, a member of Trix, um, Cheryl Holly, Michael Cohen, and where Paul was previously, we now have a gentleman called Oz Simmons or Ozzy D, if you know him. Um, and Paul will be on this page somewhere, but he was, he's now coming up further down. There he is on the right. Um, so it's nice that every time somebody loads this page, they get to see a different selection of reviews. So you're not having the same reviews being seen over and over again and people just going, yeah, he's only got four reviews. He's just showing the same ones again and again. Um, Drayson Design uh, doesn't have a great number of reviews. This is a website uh, that was part of my lockdown project. So I rebuilt the site from scratch, which I'll be honest, I'd never would have had time to do if it weren't for lockdown. So it's you know uh, one of the one of the silver linings, I guess, of lockdown, if there is such a thing. Um, so now you've seen uh, how it all looks from a customer's point of view. Let me show you how it looks from an admin's point of view. So this is the control panel for Drayson Design Reviews, and you get a new admin control panel for every um, account that you have or every website you use. Um, so basically you've got uh, your home page here which is basically giving you statistics so it's showing you how many visitors you've had how many impressions you've had impressions are people viewing your testimonials whatever page it's on if they're looking at it on your home page or if they're looking at it on the wall of love uh, you get to see the the number of um, impressions and uh, you can see um, you know for example uh, two days ago when I announced this webinar we had a huge number of people who came and had a look at uh, the the uh, the webinar, uh, the, the the testimonials, um, and that's obviously dropped off a little bit. So you can see uh, the the the, uh, the rises and the falls, and you can specify you know how long ago you want to view. If I view back to April, you can see we had a, a couple of highs here. This was on the 11th of May, and then again on the 23rd of May. Uh, if we move back down again, you'll see uh, contacts. You can ignore this section completely. That's not of interest to us. Uh, and the review forms. So how many times people are looking at the review forms based on how many times they actually fill them in. So the views versus the, um, the unique and total impressions. So how many unique people are viewing it and how many impressions you're getting in total. Uh, this is the important bit. So this is the testimonials section. So what I've got is uh, Lucy Lost It is someone who was at Trix and uh, I've done some work on her website for her since we've finished Trix and uh, she very kindly without me even asking uh, went and left a review for me which was lovely of her. Um, uh, you know she's, she's basically filled in the form that I was showing earlier which is this form here so she clicked on uh, the number of stars that she wanted. She went through to this page here and reviewed me on Google in this occasion because you've got the Google logo there. Five stars, which was lovely of her. And what I've done is I've set up various tags. So I can add a tag based on what her testimonial is about. So she's basically being very nice and saying a great service. Um, she's glad she found Drayson Designs and be working with me a lot in the future. So I've given her two tags currently. One is a website hosting, because I'm hosting her website now, and website maintenance, because I'm updating her website for her, making sure it's up to date. But I've set up lots of other tags as well. So we've got uh, ones for my dress and design reviews, which is what we're looking at now. Uh, I do videography, photography, support. Uh, in fact, I'm going to add support, because I gave her a little bit of support with her, so that, that's relevant. Um, Domain names I haven't helped her with. Website design, I've done a little bit of that for her. We've been looking at her website and how to improve it. Uh, and I do print design as well. So now I've added these tags, I can now specify on a page on my website to display testimonials that are, only have the website design tag. So you're not going to see testimonials that have absolutely nothing to do with what that page is about. Uh, it's one of the, the really big features of this um, a whole service, and it works really, really well. 
Um, you can't edit these comments because they've been pulled in automatically from, in this case, Google and Facebook. Uh, this one here was sent to me uh, by email, so I've added that one in manually. So I can edit that one, and you can see that's the only one with the edit icon there. Uh, so I can go in, so I can basically upload a, an avatar or a photo. Uh, I can change the name of the person, the email, and the testimonial that he sent me. Uh, and I can only do that because that was a manually entered one. All of the ones that were added on verified services like Google and Facebook were imported, and I have no control over the um, the, the testimonials, which is sometimes a little bit frustrating when you can see typos or you know grammar errors and things, and you want to go in and fix them. But you know the nice thing is it's a, it's a genuine review, so uh, you can't actually go in. Um, Jason Nearup, that's our uh, Mr. Shiny from Tricks, uh, lovely man. Um, so that's the testimonial section. Um, you can now add video testimonials as well. I don't have any on this yet because it's a very new service. It's, it's in beta at the moment. So I haven't collected any testimonials that are videos yet. Uh, this next section allows you to set up your tags. Uh, and you can add you know, as many tags as you like. You can edit them once you've added them if you wanted to change the, the name of it slightly. Um, and you can have as many as you like, and it actually shows you how many testimonials have these tags attached, which is really interesting. So 19 people have website hosting attached to their, their testimonial. And the last thing we have here is, is rules. So when a testimonial comes in, if it's from a third party, you basically have to click on it, and you have to approve, reject, or delete it. Now, if you delete it and it's on Google or Facebook, it'll probably come in again next time because it's only being removed from your service here. It's still on Google and Facebook. Um, but uh, if it's um, if it's one you don't want to show, you can actually reject it. And all that's doing is it's saying, don't show this one. Um, it, it, I, I think it's good to have reviews that are genuine on there, whether they're positive or negative, because you can always... Uh, sort of reply to them, especially on Google and Facebook, and you can you can have your point of view shown as well. Um, but only when you approve a testimonial will it actually display on your website, unless you set up a rule. And I've got a rule that says if the testimonial source equals Google, uh, or the testimonial source equals Facebook, then you can approve it automatically. So I'm basically saying if it's come through Google or Facebook, then just approve it and display it because. I get to see those ahead of time and if I think there's something on there that I don't want to show I can go back and I can stop it and I can also set up rules that allow me to reject or disallow a, a testimonial from being shown uh, and we can specify rating and testimonials here um, if I was to add one here we can specify exactly the same so we can specify if the rating is greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, equals or does not equal. So you can have, you know, less than or equal to three, um, you know, reject it. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's, it's your choice. I'm not going to leave that one there because that's not good for me. You can have as many rules as you like. This is one rule um, and you can add as many as you like. The next section, which I know Stuart will be very interested in, is the actual forms themselves. So you have control over the forms. Now I've got a standard form, which is the, the default form, and that's the one I suspect Stuart has already set up. And I've also got an external form, which I've set up myself. So if I just go to new form, just to show you uh, what this is all about, I'm going to uh, just label it test, because we're just doing a test, and I'm going to hit return. Uh, it asks me what my objective is. So what do I want this review form to do? Do I want to gather general feedback? Um, and this allows me to, to incentivize requests. I'll come to that later. It also allows you to do super links, which is another thing I'll come to later. But you can basically send a link to one of your customers and it will fill in their name and email automatically when they click on it, save them having to do it. Um, so I can do that, and this is basically an internal form that will come to me by email and will be put straight into Drayson Design Reviews. It won't be shown anywhere else. I can collect video testimonials uh, by clicking on this one, and this basically asks them to click on a button, give permission to allow their camera and their audio to work, and it will record a video and upload it direct to Drayson Design Reviews. Um, you can also incentivize and send super links for that as well. 
This is the one that Stuart needs to look at. This is the collect reviews on external platforms. So this is the one that we were seeing earlier with the, where is it? Um, not that one. Let me go back. Uh, in fact, I don't know why that one's there. I'm going to come out of that one completely. Uh, this was the one with the star rating. So the star rating is the first thing you see. Um, and as you can see, they've got lots of different um, integrations set up, which uh, we'll come to at the bottom here. So we've got Facebook, Google, TripAdvisor, Yelp, Amazon, and there's others that are coming on board as well. Um, so this is the one that you want, Stuart. And then we've got one that is coming soon, which will be for product reviews. So if you have a shop, uh, an e-commerce shop, you can have people leave reviews on a specific product. But that's coming soon. Um, so for the sake of argument here, and I know Stuart wants to, to see this, I will leave it on this one here. We go to create form. Now remember this is just a test, I already have my one set up, but uh, I can change it uh, anytime I like. So we have a how would you rate us and a star rating, which is our first, uh, first uh, port of call. Uh, I'm going to do five stars here, just so that uh, you can see how it would work, three, four and five. So you have settings here. Now the settings are, what's the form name? That's just for you, so you know what it's about. You can upload a logo so that you can see a logo above the How Would You Rate Us, just to brand it for your specific website. You can create a theme colour by choosing a hex uh, colour. So you have a, a little um, uh, uh, colour dropper, basically. You can basically choose the colour you want. Um, there's a title, which is this one here, How Would You Rate Us? You can change that to, to leave us feedback um, if you wanted to do so. Uh, only when I update the form with this change, so it's not showing it immediately. Uh, introduction is the information below, so you've got full control over that. and You can use basic HTML, so you can use bold and italic and so forth. Um, and a custom domain is a little bit more in-depth. Um, but this allows you to basically set up a, a link on your website with a subdomain so that people can go to your website. So, for example, feedback.dracendesign.com, if, uh, if it were me. So it's keeping them within your website to leave your testimonial. Um, it's a little bit uh, more complicated. Um, and if anyone has any questions on that, please you know, send me a message and I'm happy to support you and help you with that. Um, the submission settings is this section here. So I've got two set up, which is the Google and the Facebook. Now you can head to Google My Business account to find your review link. So by just clicking on this, it will take you to your Google Business account and it will show you the link that you need to add into here. So that when people click on this link, it will take them directly to your review page. So they just have to start typing. Uh, the same is true here on Facebook. And we have other services that you could also use, including Yelp, Trustpilot, TripAdvisor, Captera, and G2. Um, for entertainers, I, I, I believe Google and Facebook are the important ones. Um, Yelp is mainly for people who have... Um, physical properties and so forth but uh, you may you may use any of these um, that you can just add in and you can request feedback if the rating is two stars or below so I can specify if someone leaves me a three star or below rating to take me to the form rather than taking me here I can if I want specify four stars or below so that only a five star review will get them to leave a review on social media it's completely your choice. Next one is the feedback request. So this is where they would go if they gave you a, a star rating that was lower than you wanted. Uh, and again, you can you can leave information. You can customize all this information for the title, the text underneath here, and you know the minimum feedback length. So you can have a long feedback length. You can you know you can put that as a thousand characters should you want to, but Obviously, the less it is, the more concise people will have to be. Next one is the feedback submission. What are people going to see once they've clicked submit? And again, you have full control over this. Thanks. Your feedback has been submitted, and we really appreciate your comments. Uh, and localization allows you to change the language if you wish. Um, 
uh, you just click on add new and you, you, you specify which language you want to add and it will create a new localization for you. Uh, so that is the form. Once you've completed your form you can copy the form link which basically goes into your clipboard and then if we add a new tab and paste that in there this will then take us, I believe it will work because I didn't save it, let me just update the form just in case update form, there we go uh, so this is now the test form that we set up, if I click five stars it will take me through to here uh, and if I go back to that link again um, uh, I can do three stars and it will then take me through to this sorry you're not satisfied form um, you'll see that the URL at the top here is quite cryptic it means that people can't guess your URL but you can use a, a forwarder for that so that's why I have uh, draysondesign.com slash uh, feedback that will then take them direct to this URL so I don't have to send them this link which is a really long complicated link I've got a nice easy one set up so that is the forms uh, you can of course if I go back to the review forms we'll have our test one here if I delete that just quickly we can go and add a brand new form we'll call it test and we'll go to the general one just very briefly just so you can see so I've clicked on that click create form and then you just get a form just asking for their information this is going directly to you so it's not going onto the social media the social media icons here allow them to either upload a picture uh, or to sync from one of these services and it will just grab the picture from there so that's that I've just seen the time so I need to to rush forward a little bit quicker than we are currently so I'm going to delete that one again because this is my live site uh, auto requests you can ignore that's not something that we're using uh, super links again is a little bit more complex um, you you can have a look at that if you want there is help up here where the question mark is which you can get help from should you need it uh, the widgets allow you to display um, your testimonials on your various uh, pages so we can create a new widget we can have a, a testimonial widget which will basically be uh, general testimonials and reviews uh, you can have a badge and you can have a product review which again is not something you should be doing at the moment because that service is just in a beta still so we can set up a testimonial widget we can call it uh, I'm gonna call it test we can have three columns or we can have a single testimonial so just go for three let's go for columns uh, we can go for recent feedback which will be feedback that's just recently been left uh, we can choose a tag. Remember we were talking about those tags earlier. So I can type in um, website hosting and it will only show me um, in this widget uh, website hosting testimonials. We can randomize the testimonials. Uh, we can show a video review if there, if there is one, if they're preview. So it's got a little bit of animation going. Uh, we can show you know when it was left if we want to. I, choose not to do that normally uh, you can then choose if you want it to be a carousel so you can show uh, multiple which is what we're doing here multiple testimonials and there's a little arrow to go to the next one or if you want it to be in a grid we'll do grid for the minute we'll have uh, two columns we're gonna have uh, two rows so that's gonna be four testimonials two columns two rows and then you've got different themes you can use so we've got a simple card we've got uh, a centered card we got a quote focus so it's focusing on the quote we've got missed one avatar below the card so the avatars at the bottom here uh, we got an avatar focus so it's focusing on the image of the person we've got a tweet style uh, we've got an avatar overlay which is the one I quite like the look of that's the one I use a lot and we've got a photo focus so people can upload photos um, when they uh, leave a, a testimonial uh, but only if they've uploaded a photo otherwise that one's completely useless and again you have full control over this you can have it as a card or not so basically the card will allow you to have this sort of nice outline uh, you can choose the background color the primary text color the secondary text color the quote the stars you you can choose whatever you want it's completely up to you um, and then once you create the widget I won't do that, that on this occasion because I already have lots of widgets already 
so if I go to this one here, for example, and edit it, I can go down and I can get the embed code. Uh, and this is what you would do. This is where you what you would add to your website. So it's just a really simple one line bit of code that you add to your website. It'll work on any website at all. If you use a Wix, it's got its slightly different uh, code that you can use. Um, and you just copy it to the clipboard, send it to your developer, uh, and then just paste that on the page where you want this widget to show. And automatically your reviews will start showing on your website. It's as simple as that. Um, uh, Review HQ we will leave. That's not relevant for the time being. FOMO pop-ups. I don't use this personally, but you can, if you want, have uh, down the. I know, I know that Paul has this. Uh, you can have uh, reviews just popping up to the left-hand bottom side of your website, just as people are visiting your website, just as a sort of social proof. Uh, so as they're going through your website, they're just going to see a testimonial that appears in the bottom left-hand corner of your website and just pop up and show a testimonial, then disappear again. Um, it's, uh, it's it's a nice thing to do if you wish to do so. Uh, the wall of love um, is what we were seeing earlier. This is this page here, and again, you can specify the number of columns, the number, the minimum rating that you display, um, how recent it is. If there's a video review, um, show a preview for it, uh, and and again, you get to choose your theme. So you can choose your theme on different widgets and different uh, wall of the, um, loves. So they're different everywhere if you want them to be. And again, it's just one line of code, that line of code, and that's all you need to add to your website, and the wall of love will automatically appear and will update every time. Uh, I'm going to update my wall of love because I've just ticked an extra feature there about the video previews. Uh, last of all, we've got the integrations. Now, this is a little bit more tricky, a little bit more in-depth. Um, we don't really have the time to go into this at the moment, but again, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to, to message me, um, but you've got webhooks, which if you know what a webhook is, you'll understand that's a really useful thing to have. Uh, you've got all these different services that you can set up. There's a WordPress integration now, so you can basically just um, add a testimonial to your site within seconds. Um, WooCommerce, if you've got a product store and so on, um, that is that is all of that. Um, the Drayson Design settings is where you get the main overall global settings for your service. So this line or this code needs to go on every page on your website where you want a review to show. And it needs to go just before the slash head. So it basically goes in the header tag. If that makes no sense to you, uh, your webmaster will be able to help or you know I will be able to help it's not uh, it's not difficult to do it's just a matter of copying and pasting uh, and once you've done that you're basically giving Drayson Design Reviews the ability to display the reviews on your website uh, you can edit your account settings here so we can you know my property name is the domain name that I'm using this is the domain DraysonDesign.com uh, I've set it as other and custom um, just because it was showing me the settings, I could choose WordPress because it is a WordPress site. Um, I've chosen not to. Uh, branding allows me to upload a logo and choose the theme color, which I could do. Uh, the custom domain is this feedback.dracendesign that I was explaining earlier. You need to have access to your uh, DNS for this, which is again a webmaster thing unless you understand it and if you understand it then all the settings are here for you you just need to add two C names um, that is pretty much everything that you need to know about how this service works if you have more than one domain name uh, or service then there'll be a drop down here and you can just click on it and choose the other service so you've got all of your domains all in one control panel but it has its own settings completely um, we have about three minutes left, so if anyone has any questions, uh, you know, please unmute yourself, and uh, you know, I'd love to help you with this. Um, just before you do, just to let you know, if you do want to purchase this, um, it is still set at thirty pounds for the first year. It's normally fifty pounds, um, but it has currently been set at thirty pounds, and that will be there for. 
a short while longer you can click buy now and it will take you to the form which will ask all the information that you want if I just put in a, a domain name like that uh, you can add a, another one by clicking on here and it will be drop downs um, and it's £30 for the first year normally £50 per year um, and the reason for this is because it's a hosted service uh, and we're running servers to make sure that you are able to um, you know show these and access your control panel whenever you like uh, that is that is everything I wanted to say there are lots of other bits and pieces that you can have a look at on this website page uh, this is the Drayson Design Reviews um, information page and you can get to it by going to DraysonDesign.com going to services software and Drayson Design Reviews uh, any questions in our last couple of minutes here? We have Stuart, Paul, and Karen. Stuart's just unmuted himself. Stuart, uh, not a question, but just to thank you for a visual um, explanation of how to do it because I did have uh, did struggle to to get it set up. But I mean that's uh, the fault of trying to follow um, emails and messages. But it's it's nice to see it visually to see to tell how a another go at it, it'll be a lot easier so thanks for that oh it's my pleasure I'm, any anyone who purchases Drayson Design Remu uh, Reviews um, I, I offer support so if you want to give me a call if you want to have a zoom call to set it up it's one of these things that once you've set it up it just runs and it just it, it's sort of set and forget because once it's going unless you want to make major changes to it it will just keep going for you um, and I have an automation um, email that goes out after my shows which asks for uh, reviews and it just has the link on there straight to my reviews form and the first thing I know about it is when I get an email telling me I've got a brand new review and I just go and approve it and it appears on my website like magic uh, and it's just such a such a great way of gently asking for reviews without being you know leave me a review leave me a review it's like you know this is where you can leave it I'd love you to 